Mm. Excuse me. I'm glad that I got your attention. But do you know why I pulled you over? You don't. Really now? You did not hear the sirens way before? <laughs> you were going to start a police chase out of nowhere. I'm glad you noticed in time. Oh, really? Are you the owner of this vehicle? You're not. Are you sure? Ah, it's your friends. Do you know what this vehicle has been used for? You don't. <laughs> you should know that being in there is only going to cause you more trouble. Hmm. You don't know. I don't believe that in the slightest. Oh, why? <laughs> I hear that all the time. People like you pretend to be dumb to only get out of certain situations. Sure, this might not be your vehicle, but you could still be involved in all the things that occurred using this. <laughs> you don't need to try to convince me otherwise. It's better that you try showing evidence instead. We listen to evidence, not simple words. Now, would you tell me where you were headed? Hmm. Is that so? <laughs> Let me just write that down. I need your ID. Oh, you did not bring it with you. Are you really sure? You do realize that you need to carry your ID with you at all times for situations like these. You can be in a lot of trouble if you don't. Hmm, well... Just tell me your name, how old you are, and any other identifiable details that you can remember. I see, I see. Let's see. I can run your details through the system and see if they pop up. If they don't show up, then I would have no other choice but to arrest you. You got that. <laughs> I am laid back. I've been told that a lot. Right, let's see. Oh. I'm familiar. I guess you might have seen me in a couple of shifts. Who knows. But for you to remember me, you might have gotten a good look at me. <laughs> Were you staring? Oh, you weren't. But you still managed to recognize me. <laughs> Let's see. Input your name and give it a moment. There you go. I don't see your face anywhere. It's just, just showing up other people who have a similar or same name as you. Did you lie to me? <laughs> you did it. Are you really sure that you didn't leave out anything behind? Let's say middle names. Or do you spell it in a certain way? Hmm, I spelled it like that, but I still can't find you. <laughs> uh, 
As much as I want to believe you, I would like to ask you to please step out of your vehicle. You don't need to make a ruckus out of this. It'll only waste your time and mine as well. Just be complacent and everything will turn out just fine. And if you are innocent, then you wouldn't have to worry about this, right? Innocent people don't freak out like this. You must be gu guilty of something at the very least. Oh, I know, I know that you can be nervous in this type of situation. But let me tell you this much. Things won't change if you're not compliant. You'll only make things more difficult for yourself. So step out. Just like that. Now, hands behind your back, if you please. I know I don't have to do this, but it's protocol. Alright. Nice and secure. Don't think of running away, alright? It won't do much, and you can't go to get far. <laughs> After all, you are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, some sort of highway, but... You did drive quite far. Well, no matter. Just follow me. And get in the car. There you go. Let me just fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Not like you can do it yourself. Don't get any funny ideas, alright? I don't appreciate my seat being kicked. Just like all the other times that I've had to endure that. Now. Where are you going? Well, you are under arrest. For not complying at the very beginning. Not having a license. Your details not checking out. And going in a vehicle that has been previously... Well... I can't tell you yet, because I'm pretty sure that you know. <laughs> I want to see you say it. I bet you'll slip up sooner or later. Now just relax. It'll take quite a while to get to the station. <laughs> Are you doing okay there? It has been quite a while since you've been there. Like I said, the station is quite far away. Well, yes, we did go by one, but that is not my station. It's someone else. It's some of the cities. <laughs> you don't even know where we are? Really, you did not bother looking at any of these signs? I guess that just makes my job easier. Since you don't know where you are, and even if you try to attempt to escape, you won't know where you're going. Now, just wait a little bit more, and you'll be safe and sound behind the bars. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'll just figure out what we're going to do with you. All right, here we are. <laughs> you almost fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, it is quite dark outside, so I wouldn't blame you. Now, go on. Step outside. There you go. Oh, you look so defeated. Oh, what about that car? It'll get towed. Don't worry about it. And any belongings you left there will be given back to you. Most likely by your little friend. <laughs> now, come on. Uh, 
Let's see, let's see. Still can't find your file for whatever reason. Hmm? Well, there is no one else here as of now. Most people don't take the night shift and I'm the only one for today. But... Tell me, I... There's something strange about this. How come your file is nowhere to be seen? I can't find any records of it. Oh? You have something to confess. What is that? Hmm. You were taken away before. Right. So you were taken away, lived for wherever you know, I don't know, and that individual's powers were strong enough to erase all identity that existed of yours. <laughs> and let me ask you, what happened to that individual? How did you escape? Because I have not heard of a case like that before, where it involved you. Kidnappings are, are common, but escaping from a kidnapper and not telling the police. Now, what sort of logic is that? <laughs> I get it. Abuse is not a fun thing. But I want you to know. You need to tell me what actually happened for you to escape. Hmm. Is that so? Familiar, familiar. <laughs> so you decided to just keep running away over and over to different cities. Not being able to find your own identity. So you knocked the individual out cold and ran for it. You should have, you could have saved yourself so much effort if you didn't. Well. <laughs> I know. You could have just called the cops, but you didn't. You already said everything that you have, and yet... You haven't told me the identity of this person. You can't remember. How so? How is it possible to not remember one of the most traumatic... Oh. I'll put in quotes, traumatic things that could have happened to you. Ah, so your brain has been blocking it out. <laughs> oh, this makes things so much easier. Oh? <laughs> Nothing. Well, like I already said, seems like records of you don't exist anymore. How have you been living for these past years? Hmm. Is that so? Must have been tough. What happened when you were kidnapped? I want to know. Well, whatever you can remember. So, at first, it wasn't that bad. But then, you didn't like the possessiveness. That's strange. <laughs> you come up with a really... fantasy-like story. It's hard to believe you. But then again... 
Your records are nowhere to be seen, so I'm a little 50-50 on this matter. The chief said that I have the authority to put people in house arrest. So I think I'll just do that. Well, you are arrested. But I don't think I want to leave you in a cell. So, it's better to put you in house arrest. What do you think? Of course that would make things so much easier. You wouldn't have to leave home. And everything would be taken care of. Oh, nothing. It doesn't mean much. Now, I'll keep the little cuffs on you. For now. Oh, an ankle monitor. I'll be sure to put that on you as soon as we reach your home. Now, give me your address. Oh, that is quite far away. But things should be just fine. Alright. Alright. Get up and come back to the car. Sit on tight. You can fall asleep if you want. It has been a long day and it's going to take around, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes to arrive at your place. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Uh, looks like I found them again. <laughs> How fun. They really outdid themselves trying to escape. But they can't escape f from me for long. <laughs> how, how wonderful. Their identity is still nowhere to be seen. And I can just take them away without anyone noticing. How perfect. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> what a long car ride. It's going to take a while for them to wake up. Not like they'll have a choice. <laughs> oh, how heartbroken I was. But I thought that I took good care of you. I should probably stop speaking to myself. Rise and shine. You were out for a short while. Where are you? Back home, where else do you expect? <laughs> oh, what do you mean it's not your home? I'm quite sure it is. Take a look around, do you not remember this? Oh, how beautiful. This is such a beautiful feeling, is it not? Everything that you used to love about this place is back. After so many years, you were finally reunited. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, why do you look so shocked? Hey, there's no need to look so shocked. Things are just fine. And look, it's the same bed that you've slept in for so long. But this time, you won't be able to <laughs> untie yourself. Well, at least not with ease. During that time, I kind of messed up and let you get away from me. But I'm glad that you were stupid enough to not bother trying to call the police. <laughs> you knew 
knew I was a cop, so of course people would have believed me over you, but you still did not give it a chance. Your identity is still nowhere to be seen. Of course, any records are just long gone. Oh, you don't need to get so sad. I don't mean to be this mean, but I just needed to get back at you a little. That day where you left me, one of the worst days imaginable for me, I went insane with grief. I didn't know what to do anymore with my life. <laughs> and this today is just a normal house arrest. But instead of your old home, it is ours. You're back home, so you don't have to worry about anything anymore. You won't have to run away from anything, because you'll always w be with me. Listen, darling, I don't think I treated you that badly. After all, you loved being here. Not having to bother with anything, yet you decided to leave. Why? <sighs> you said that I was too clingy, too possessive. I mean, isn't that the whole point? That is supposed to be the entire point. The reason that you were here from the very beginning, I was holding myself back. And when I didn't, you decided to leave. <laughs> isn't that funny? I know, of course I need to know that I need to control myself. But it's hard when you're this irresistible. You look so beautiful. I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know how I've survived for these past few years without seeing your face every morning. And <laughs> of course, I was trying to find every way to get back to you. It's just so happened that I pulled you over. That car what belonged to a notorious criminal. That person was not your friend. I was just following my duty, and I'm glad that I did. I was planning on letting that go, but if I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to find you again. I've been going insane for these past few years, and now that I found you again, I don't know what I will do. Punish you? Oh, no, no. I won't punish you just yet. Of course, I won't hurt you. I have not hurt you. Ever. The only time that I have used excessive force was to first take you away from the world. But thought it was only because you were being so difficult. And today? It wasn't by extensive force either, you just fell asleep. And I just took you rightfully where you belong. You don't need to state out the obvious. Of course I'm insane. What sane person would ever do this? <laughs> and clearly, we're both not sane. You liked this before, and all of a sudden you decided to change your mind. Was it too much for you? I don't think that my love for you was too much. I still think that it's not enough. I need to be constantly around you. <laughs> oh, so perfect. I'm so glad that I found you again. 
Now I get the chance to make up all that lost time. <sighs> Let's see, how could I punish you? Maybe making you lay down in the cold basement floor, repenting for your actions of you deciding to leave. Or maybe tie you up and just leave you there for a few days without food or water. I'm sure you'll survive. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I would never do that to you. That's way beyond me. I might be insane, but I'm not insane enough to hurt the one I love. <laughs> what? Can I not caress your cheek? Your hair is so nice. Everything about you looks so perfect. <laughs> Why are you getting teary? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you cry. I am truly sorry. Can you tell me why you're crying? I have a few ideas, but I want to hear it from you. Oh! Of course. These past few years have been insufferable for you. Did you miss me too? <laughs> Sometimes. Really. Sometimes when things got really tough and you just wanted someone else to take care of it. Is that so? You had the chance to not leave, but you did. I guess I can count that as your punishment. Having to suffer through all of that without anyone by your side. <laughs> but I'm glad to have you back. You won't have to suffer through that again. You'll just be here. Right in my arms. Not worrying about anything else. You can leave all your worries with me. And I'll be sure to take care of each and every single one of them. <laughs> of course I know there's cameras in the police station. But all they think that I just, I've put you in house arrest. They just... <laughs> They really won't know which house it was. A house arrest doesn't mean your own home, right? It can mean anyone's. It's just this time, it happened to be mine. And this is going to be forever. You are going to be here for the rest of your life. And you don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Either way, you would have suffered in your life. But this is the better option, right? Not like I want you to suffer. I want you to be happy, but... I know that thing... These things take time. And, a, and that look on your face, it, it's not something that I can control. I'm truly sorry if you didn't, well, if, sorry, I don't. No, how to put this into words. But I am truly sorry if I scared you. I don't like looking 
at that. I want to see the same level of devotion in your eyes. I guess it'll take some time for you to get used to it. You were getting used to it, but I got too possessive and you couldn't handle it. I should have let it progress through naturally. Things would have ended much, much better. I know that I can be a bit um, sadistic here and there, but I truly don't mean to harm you. All I want for you is to be happy with me. I want you by my side. I need you by my side. If I can't hand that, then I... I don't... <laughs> Not like that matters now. You're besides me now, so... All I can do is be grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, darling. Yeah, what of the best things that have happened to me? <laughs> I can tell that you're tired. You should sleep now. And I'll try to make things better for tomorrow. You won't have to struggle through your life anymore. Sorry for giving you such a big scare. <laughs> I might be evil or insane, but I'm not a monster. I just want you to know that. Sweet dreams, all right? <laughs>